We do this each and every Wednesday night, around the midnight. Thanks for being here. My name is Caleb Weissert. I host the open mic. Um, yeah, thanks for being here. Uh, we got Max behind the bar for you tonight, so be sure and see him and get some drinks. And um, uh, get mellow, get relaxed. We're going to have a good time tonight. Um, we got a couple of spaces left on the list if anyone else wants to sign up. Um, just uh, remember to keep it under 10 minutes for formers and uh, pretty much anything other than that goes. Um, put a few more spaces down here on the list if anyone else wants to sign up. Um, a few quick announcements before we get started. Um, coming up uh, this Monday, the 21st, uh, for the uh, poetry fans in the house, we got Altamont Poetry Series at North Carolina Stage Company at 7.30 p.m. Uh, this Monday, um, featuring the poet Matthew Olsman, uh, who is quite a fun poet. Um, I highly recommend this reading. Um, so check us out on Monday. Um, also coming up the first Saturday this month, me and Max will be up here making some tunes for y'all um, on the first Saturday. 8.30 to 11.30 or so, so come check us out then. Cool, I'm gonna keep things off with a few times tonight and then we'll hear from some other folks. Nail polish, the upstairs bedroom of duplex in DC, pink tile, I make my way among bars to bed foot the eyes they call me. More love than a dog. Swallowed a quarter, threw up in the tub, red hearts, my guts in the tub, beautiful, pure lifeline. Television in three-way bathroom mirror, Q-tips beside the hairdryer, Bob fixes it with a hammer. Clothes and shoes, sliding closet windows open above the warm bed, light and music drifting in. During the storm, a crack in the stairway wall, a dark night took the top of the tree. Clock, blue chair, pink medicine spit out behind the couch. Side door, large window, dad enters with beard, playing trains beside the coffee table. We weren't coffee drinkers. I listened to a brown tape recorder, the photographer's umbrella table, washing chairs, smashing. I fed my aunts from a paper plate cheese sandwich. Freezer on top of refrigerators, making meatballs, a bath in the kitchen sink place, London's burning, an old piano and dining room with green carpet, watering table with burls winking like the eyes of owls. Falling bookshelf, a peanut butter cookie from a man, and a moving truck. Thank you. Uh, cool, this next poem is uh, by my friend uh, Richard Jarrett. This is called Best of the Donkey. Besser the donkey lives out his days in a small pasture. He appears stoic in the rain and stands still beneath the merciless sun. You could almost believe that a rock to eat, dust to drink, are all that he needs. You would be more wrong than the one who named him Bessa, thinking that the kiss he gave for a sliver of apple was love. Here's one from Garcia Lorca. This is called Clang. At the yellow towers, the bells toll. On the yellow winds, peals of a bell expand. Along a road, death goes, crown of withered orange blossom. She sings and sings a song in her white equator, and sings and sings and sings. At the yellow towers, the bells cease. The wind with the dust makes silver prows of ships. Song of the withered orange tree. Woodcutting, 
cut down my shadow. Save me from the torment of seeing myself fruitless. Why was I born among mirrors? The day turns over me, and the night copies me fully in all its stars. I want to live without seeing myself. And ants and thistle down, I will dream that you are my leaves and my birds. Woodcutter, cut down my shadow. Save me from the torment of seeing myself fruitless. Thanks, y'all. This is um, this one's called Story of Anyone. Anyone had a round, laughed priest's face and a beard that grew right up to his eye. On Tuesdays, he walked along the sidewalks picking up aluminum cans. He could smell people's worries like a dog could smell cancer. He would nestle up to them and follow them around the same way, too, if they'd let him. Today, like any other day, he can be found hanging his hammock in the little trees beside the grocery store among the drunks and derelicts and the drunks and the dogs that look for food. He sings an old tune, softly, perhaps a hymn you heard as a kid. But when the policeman asked, why are you singing? You know it's against the law. The man had no answer and held out his hands. The police swarmed around him, beat him in the parking lot. They pepper sprayed his heart and put his mind in jail. And now he sits like a statue of Buddha, unable to post bail, awaiting indefinitely an unfair trial. Nobody knew him, no family or friends, so nobody knows where he has gone. Cool, uh, this is the last scene after Frederick Gerger's little archive. For years, I've searched for the tunnel back to the poet's time, where we drink vino tinto and listen to warm piano and the canta ores, to speak of revolution, the ever revolution, to sit at tables and smoke. Nobody lives long here. Friends share their poems, quick laughter, camaraderie, tight but gone just like that. Each friend alone is death. Death runs this region. Upon long red roads, courses through trunks and branches that reach, racked with life, populating mountainsides. Even in winter, the trees are alive. Even in Andalusia, the killing ground, there is green. Even after leaves have wept to the earth, even in stormy midnight where man is without lanterns, the only sound is over and fire. Oh, death. Take me there. For one drop of that vintage, one word from the living poet. The wine is gone, the cigar musk faded, the lamp wicks blackened, the visionaries gone insane or murdered. Bodies drying in the long red robe, scorched in soil, etched in metal, buried in the clay, lingering along the edge of memory. And um, uh, this next poem, uh, this next poem uh, uh, comes from when I was fortunate enough to um, visit uh, the um, home for many years of Federico Garcia Lorca um, in Granada, Spain. This is called the Cats in Lorca's Garden. Grand sweeping park. Apartments rise and enclose pomegranate trees, beer cans, benches, flies, and cats sleeping in the bushes, empty waste bins, and legends of a home where a family never can return. A fountain with a wedge of swans, pear trees, and weeping lilacs. Stale roads built up around their constant ocean wind.
thank you. Um, and I got one more for y'all here. This is called the Majestic Beat. In circles around Mayan sun temples, drums and tones from their emptiness, spurring profound longing blue-green dreams steeped in foliage, sound fog deep in forest dancers keeping time to the beat before time. The audiogenic amoeboid heartbeat carried into kaleidoscoping light windows of pixelated waves laced into neuron circuitry, baffled and fueled by mysteries. To worm-eaten genes hung on crystalline skeletons, Bright yellow atomic rain clouds of city buses passing by in the night frame of lonely corners of sky, great columns and moonlit palaces of minds, the sound permeating every cell in this abode, the light beams drifting like tractors across the ripened fields, saturated in delicate hues of tropical skin and cactus blooms. Fractal wheat sprouting from dust, new planets overhead beneath us, ascending into fragrant midnight molecular Abyssinian vases, digital Egyptian sarcophagi, ancient ink and stone motherboard logic, spinning runic songbirds, escalating far red colored distant sweetheart Orions and dilated open eyes and heads the reptilian coils and electric spiral pulsating, cloud hands reaching on the ethers, wafting in the temple of Aphrodite, stoned upon the rocks of time, in love with every rhythm and every cell and every everything, forever, without ever, echoed in ocean waves and thunder, painted across clear nights in the perennial spring, around campfires and subwoofers, Continuing the majestic beat. One, 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 one. Thank you very much. And up first on the mic tonight, we got Johnny in the house. Y'all give it up for Johnny. I'm from Lake Superior, so there's like a lot of winter imagery or something. 